so this article that we're going to start with, um, this article we're going to start with is uh, actually happened a couple weeks ago, but uh, somehow it kind of slipped under my radar a little bit, and uh, it was sent to me yesterday by Ruffle over in Louisville, and they were like, this is totally a get your news on with Ron, like this is everything, get your news on with Ron, not everything, but a lot of the things that get your news on with Ron really geeks out about. You got online privacy going on, you got music going on, and you got climate change going on, all in one story. So even though we're a little late to this party, uh, we're going to mention it here uh, real quick. And uh, yeah, so check this out. Radiohead dodges ransom request by releasing unheard tracks to benefit Extinction Rebellion after an unknown hacker stole unreleased music from German, or Grammy win, Germany. I read that as Germany. <laughs> Grammy winning Radiohead. The band published 18 hours of private soundtracks on Bandcamp with the proceeds directly benefiting the Extinction Rebellion. So basically, an unknown hacker got a bunch of Radiohead's music, was like, hey, I got this, what are you going to do about it? And Radiohead was like, well, fuck it, I guess we'll just release it ourselves, and then all the proceeds benefit uh, a cause that we care about, which is Extinction Rebellion, because they're doing something about climate change. Good for Radiohead. Um, and Radiohead was just, like, upfront about it. They were like, look, the material's meh. We're not that big on this material. We weren't ready to release it. It's just kind of meh. But here you go. When you're Radiohead, do you really have to worry about uh, what you have or don't have to prove? You know what I mean? Like if it was like an up and coming band and they had these demos where they're like, oh, we're not sure about these demos, these songs, we're still developing them. And then someone like hacks it and releases it. That could really fuck you, right? Like that, that could hurt you a lot because like you're still forming a name for yourself. So people might just hear that and be like, oh, I guess this is what they have to offer. They're not very good. And you're like, wait, no, that's not a finished product. Someone fucking hacked this. Or, I mean, depending on how you, I mean, if you were able, if you got the right publicist involved, you might be able to use the story to really help your career. Um, but anyway, you get the idea. If you're Radiohead, dude, you're Radiohead. Like, like people, they're like, yeah, yeah, you guys, you guys released OK Computer. We fucking get it. This is a work in progress. Um, and some, you know, Radiohead fans are pretty dedicated, so they'll probably just geek out about this regardless. I mean, Radiohead could just get hammered and cover Pink Floyd terribly, and people would still, like, wet themselves over it. You know what I mean? Um, in fact, maybe that should happen. David Gilmore, outspoken for climate change. Same with Roger Waters. So Pink Floyd also cares about climate change. Radiohead cares about climate change. So what they should do, they should get hammered and cover each other's music and then just just post just just put that up. Uh, or if that's not their thing, they don't have to even, just cover each other's music. Cover each other's music without rehearsing it. There you go. There's the concept. Pink Floyd is going to cover Radiohead sans rehearsal. Radiohead's going to cover Pink Floyd sans rehearsal. That's a really cool freaking concept. Um and they're just going to put it out, and it benefits Extinction Rebellion. I would buy all of that shit. And to be honest, um, I'm not the biggest Pink Floyd fan in the world. I respect it for what it is. It's just not, um, you know, just not one of my favorites. Just musically, not quite my cup of tea. Uh, same with Radiohead, actually. Uh, I respect Radiohead a lot. I don't see how you couldn't respect them for what they are. But um, it's not my the biggest cup of tea for me uh, musically. So, you know, I, um, but I would get that, and I would kind of geek out about it very hardcore. Uh, I would love that, and I would buy all that stuff. So anyway, kudos to Radiohead, uh, for doing that. And Radiohead, they can do that. They got nothing to prove. They're freaking Radiohead. So, uh, so there you have it. Good on Radiohead. Bravo. Um, and proceeds go to Instinction Rebellion. So check out that band camp if you're interested in seeing works in progress from the one and only, the legendary Radiohead. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. 
an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your